What is up everyone? Welcome to the course part one. Uh, I don't know how many parts we're going to have, but this is part one. Uh, I've got here before me, I wanted to just quickly go through what the core is. You know, we see a lot of people throw ideas around uh, of what, you know, core training. Uh, it's almost become this mythical thing that you just hear people talk about and it's good for you, but we don't really know how to apply it and what it actually means from a day-to-day -day perspective. At least I found that you might know exactly what's going on, but I found that it was this magical term thrown around a lot of the time. Uh, so I wanted to clear that up a bit, right? So I wanted to show you just on a really simplistic model here of what the in our minds, the core exists of. People have different interpretations and that's fine. At the end of the day, uh, you know, core, pillar, trunk, whatever you want to call it, they're all more or less going to kind of time with the same idea of stability and strength through that, through that central, you know, uh, portion of your body, which is your trunk or your core. So what you've got before me right here, we've got a side and a front view of someone's very average torso. He's got a nice bit of a V taper, but he's also got a bit of a gut, more of a jelly bean like human being, but it'll work for what we're going to do. So when we talk about core, people often think straight, they jump to things like the pelvic floor or the abdominals, you know, in the deep layers of, of tissue. But for the most part, we're just going to look at what the core is as a whole. So we'll start with that, right? So on the front here, you've got an F for front, you know, you've got your abdominal tissue. All right, that's going to run down the front there. You got your six pack, you've got different layers, you got transverse abdominus and whatnot. That all lies there. On the bottom, you've got your pelvic floor. On the back here, we've got our spinal erectors, right? There's two big, you know, iron rods that run up the side of the back. If you see Olympic weightlifters or, you know, power lifters or people like that, they've often got these big muscles that actually run all the way up here. You know, your multifidus and other muscles like that. And then across the top here, we've got our diaphragm, okay? And now you can kind of see that we're beginning to get this sort of, uh, I guess, structure, like a circular structure or an enclosed capsule, right? And if you've, if you've seen our videos on the diaphragm and breathing, then this is kind of crosses why we help, why we can create that stability in our core in the first place or in our trunk in the first place, because we're able to uh, use pressure to, to to basically create high pressure and create stability through you know the use of these muscles and, and breathing. So that's there. And then we've also got on the sides, we've got our internal external obliques that kind of run laterally like so. Yeah, roughly. All right. Now from the front, obviously it looks pretty similar, right? You've got kind of your obliques. So you've got your abdominus that is like in this area. You've got that uh, pelvic floor, you've got your diaphragm on top and you've got these side muscles that kind of run in and out of your obliques, right? And obviously you've got things like your lats that run down, you've got other muscles, and at the end of the day, look, a lot of these muscles will tie in with bigger muscle groups and different muscle groups through fascia and whatnot to your glutes, hip flexors and whatnot. They all operate together. But for the most part, we've got this really central and kind of integral part, uh, group of muscles that will form your core. All right, now in part two, we'll go into maybe like how we use those and, and how we train them and what the benefits are of, of doing that. But for the most part, this is kind of when, when, when we at the TPG, again, you might have different interpretations and I'm no physiotherapist and uh, you know, we often work with populations who just want to get stronger. And so when we look at and more flexible, so when we look at this, we taking into account these very uh, kind of integral muscles to, to around that core and that trunk area. So. When we talk about core, that's kind of what we're looking at. We're looking at the abdomen, we're looking at the abdominals, we're looking at the diaphragm, we're looking at the ability to breathe, we're looking at the, the pelvic floor, we're looking at the obliques and the ability to rotate and anti-rotate, and, and also a lot of a big part is also looking at the back and the integrity around your spine. So I hope that clears it up a bit. When we talk about core, whatever word you use, again, you might have different interpretations. You might look at this and think that's not at all what I believe, and that's okay. You can have your opinion and you're welcome. And we'd love to get some feedback if you want to. But otherwise, this is what we believe, and this is how we look and train the core muscles.